So we are not going to the Olympics this year because I just thought it would be kind of cold and miserable and I heard the transportation situation is terrible there. Um, so I really have no desire to go. I just want to watch it from my home. But instead of going to the Olympics, I thought I would go to the Lotte department store which has a official Olympic store and check out some of the merchandise there. If you are interested in purchasing Olympic merchandise, I believe that the Lotte department store is the official seller of Olympic merchandise. And I went to the one in Yeongdong and I found the Olympic stuff on the ninth floor, which is where all of the duty-free stuff is. So if you go shopping for Olympic stuff, you will see two mascots. The first one is this black bear, which is the mascot for the Paralympics. And then the other mascot is a white tiger, which is a mascot for the regular Olympics. Bondabi is a Asiatic black bear, which is a bear that's native to the Korean peninsula. And this is a symbol of strong will and courage. The white tiger's name is Su Horong, which is derived from two Korean words, Suho, which means protection, and Horangi, which means tiger. And a tiger is an animal that's closely related to Korean mythology, and it's a symbol of trust, strength, and protection. When I saw these snow globes, I immediately thought of my daughter Sienna, because she has been wanting a snow globe for such a long time. And I know that the pink one is something that she would definitely love. So there's a huge price difference between the black globe that you see in the back and the smaller white globes. The black one is like super expensive. It's 50,000 won, which is about 50 US dollars. And the small one is uh, 15,000 won, which is about 15 US dollars. And they're not that different. I actually like the smaller one better because the black one seems like it's super Christmassy whereas the other ones seem like they're more for the Olympics. These look like little vases which celebrate each of the different Olympic Games. This is real leather. It kind of reminds me of that Safiano leather, but I'm not sure if I would carry this personally. Not my style. This passport case, on the other hand, is really cute, but I never use my current passport case because I'm the only one that has one, and it's much lighter to just carry your passport by itself, especially when you have four of them that you're carrying together. This pouch is super cute. And here's the clothing section. These pajamas are cute, but my kids have a lot of pajamas already. Okay, these are kids' sweatshirts, and the quality of the cotton seems really good, but it's a little bit expensive, and I'm not really sure if uh, any of us would actually wear these sweatshirts. This one's a dry fit. Looks like North Face did a partnership with the Olympics to make these special jackets, but I think I would actually prefer a plain North Face. Here we have some little souvenirs for kids. These look like they're paper dolls. And then here's one of those little art figures that you can paint. I'm always like tempted to buy these, but I never actually buy them. I'm not sure what this thing is. And this is kind of cool. If my kids were older, I would get this for them. This is a Lego set. And there are a lot of mirrors in the store. This is a really cute puffy tiger mirror and a bear mirror. Maybe if I was like an athlete, I would buy this, I don't know. But I would rather just use the mirror in my house. These look like insulated water bottle holders. Cute. And who doesn't need a tiger headband, right? Super cute.
because I have so many plushies from playing claw machines, I'll probably never buy a plushie doll again in my life. But I thought that this tiger wearing the black jacket was irresistible. Super cute. Now this little mini tiger that's hanging over the cup is something that I definitely need in my life. Okay, this candy is just a little bit weird and scary. Looks like we're at the food section and you have some sweet potato chips. These almonds are really popular as souvenirs in Korea and of course seaweed. These miniature fans were actually magnets and I thought that they were super pretty. This looks like a giant styrofoam ball but it's actually a lamp. And this is some sort of expensive beauty soap. Korea is known for its beauty products, so maybe that is worth a try. And I thought this was kind of cute, a puck candle. And here we have a little magnetic board where all the magnets and keychains are displayed. And I thought this was kind of weird because it's like a patch that you would sew on your jacket, but it's actually a magnet. I was kind of surprised to find this here because this is actually a Japanese style candy. I saw this a lot in Tokyo. And then here you have some pins representing all of the different Olympic sports with the brown bear and the tiger on them. Hi guys, so I did a little bit of shopping when I went to the Olympic store and I'm gonna do a haul and show you what I got. So the first thing I got is for my husband and I, I got these little tigers that sit on the edge of your coffee cup and keep you company when you drink your coffee or tea. I just thought this was really cute and it's not really a useful item, but I've always, I've seen these, um, but I just, I don't know. I thought it was kind of unique, so I got this set. So the next thing I got were these commemorative pins and Whenever I travel somewhere or my mom travels somewhere, I like to buy a souvenir pin that says like Mount Fuji or wherever I went. And I'll buy one for myself and one for my mom. And she does the same thing. Um, when I was younger and my family took trips, my mom would let us pick out a souvenir at the shop. And I would always pick rocks for some reason because I was really into collecting rocks when I was a child. And my mom always got mad at me because she was like, why would you get that? It's not like, you can't tell that like it's from the location that we visited. You can get rocks anywhere. Why are you picking rocks for your souvenir? So after I got like a few boxes of rocks, I started collecting souvenir pins and I picked this up because there's three in a set and then I'm gonna keep one and give two to my mom. Oh, it locks it. Oh, interesting. This is interesting. Put it on. Oh, it's, it lights up. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is so cool. That's so cool. Turn it off. That's so cool. I didn't know that it was going to do that. Let's see. Oh, it's my first light up pin.
I also got these little mirrors, handheld mirrors with um, the Olympic Tiger speed skating and figure skating. And I got these for my patrons. <laughs> so if you guys want to become a patron, you can check out the link in the description box below. So I was looking for some really cute keychains for my patrons, but the ones that I saw um, on display were sold out. Why? So I ended up getting the mirrors instead. I thought they were cute and they can also be useful for you to check your teeth if you have any like green stuff in there. Um, they're nice and light. You could just throw them in your purse. So my daughter has been asking me for a snow globe for months. I think she saw um, a snow globe in the stores before Christmas started. It was a Christmas snow globe and she really wanted it. But I thought it was really expensive. It was around 50 bucks and I don't know, I just didn't feel like it was an appropriate thing for her to have because it's glass and it's breakable. Even though Sienna is careful, uh, I, I thought I'm not gonna buy that for her. But I saw these snow globes at the Olympic store and I thought that this one would be perfect for Sienna because the tiger's pink, she loves pink, and she's been asking me for a snow globe. I asked her why she wanted a snow, glo snow globe and she said that it was because Roly Poly has a snow globe. Roly Poly is a cartoon on Netflix that she watches. Uh, but anyway, I got her the snow globe. And then of course I can't leave Valentina out. So I got Valentina this um, blue snowboarding tiger. I think that snowboarding is gonna be my favorite sport at the Olympics. But yeah, anyway. I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna give this to her yet because it's breakable but I'm just gonna save it for her when she gets older. She can have her own snow globe. So that's all I got. Um, there are a lot of cute things there. And I remember when the Olympics were held in Seoul in like the 80s, I think it was 1984 or 1985. And their mascot was also a tiger, but it was orange. And my dad um, went to Korea around that time. I don't know if he went to, I don't think he went to the Olympics, but. He picked up some souvenir pencils for me, which I think I still have to this day at um, my mom's house in a drawer. <laughs> I'm not really sure where they are, but I do remember that tiger. Um, so this tiger is very similar to the 1980s Olympic tiger. Super cute. Cheese. So if you guys are in Seoul and you're looking for something to do that's kind of related to the Olympics and you have kids, you might want to check out this exhibit at the Ichon Children's Museum at the National Museum of Korea. Um, it's an exhibit on tigers that sort of talks about the tigers that were present in Korean literature and the connection between um, tigers and Korean culture. And they have some hands-on activities like drawing on these tiger masks and they also have this thing that Valentina really enjoyed which was stamping tiger and other stamps onto postcards. Um, it was ended up being really messy, but we made some pretty cool postcards. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know in the comments below what your favorite sport is for the Olympics. I'll talk to you later. Bye!